Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. Yes, the day before the Super Bowl 2015. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm voting for the Broncos. I just want Peyton Manning to win his last one. I won it. Sorry. I have nothing against Cam Newton and the Panthers. I think they're awesome. I'm just I want Peyton Manning to win his last one. That's it. Anyway, um, I was listening to my pastor, well, my favorite inspiration teacher, Pastor Jakes. And he did a sermon a while ago, and I was just going through him, and I was listening to this last night when I was asleep. Well, I was listening to that sermon, so I went to sleep, listening to Pastor Jake's. Um, he's talking about the difference in character, a character of a, he's talking about the difference, but the character of a champion. So I had to look it up. A character is something we have and we are. Your character, who you are, what, what do you stand for? Now, People always confuse the two with morality, being moral. Moral is something you can learn. A character is who you are. So, uh, like, a character is like, think of it like this. It's already a made situation. You're just adding to it. Morals is something you learn. It's something you, you figure out and that adds to your character. So, when you separate those two. So, where do you stand with this? Where is it? I mean, how much character do you have in the fight with the mess? And 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 are you willing to build on the character you have? Because if it's not the character that that's shooting for being the champion that it should be for MS causes and and, and help and, and all that, then you know, I'm sorry. I know my character. My character was it, it was I was I was I was molding my character a lot better in. Uh, the hospice. It molded me something fierce. It taught me humility. It taught me um, how to be humble. It taught me how to be, to not take for granted the things that I had. Um, it taught me to to help. Because there's a lot of people that want to help, but we always see what the bad people do. We don't see the good things. So, um, that was a driving force behind what I did with my books. I'm trying to help. I'm not trying to say you have to or you're gonna die. That's not me. I'm not I'm not that right person because you're not me. I'm not you. So I just said, look, this is what's helped me. What's gonna help you? It's pretty much what my books are about. If you come at, read my books with that theory, then you're seeing the character of my character in a book. You're seeing it played out. You're seeing my humility. Because I'm telling you the steps that I take, so you can imagine what I had to do during those steps. I had to do those steps to tell it to whoever I could. And I was always told as a kid that my um my my life I'm gonna have to tell them. I'm gonna have to tell and be inspirational to others. I'm gonna have to use that. So uh, I really believe I'm gonna. I really believe the mess that I'm dealing with. Is something me for me to um, tell and ins inspire others to show that you can do this. And you have other people like uh, Judy Loco. She she's doing things with uh, uh, stem cells. Is insane. The woman is an uh, inspiration to many. Um, I have a heartfelt admiration for her. Um, but I'm going. I'm showing you the different route. See, Jody Judy is showing you. The stem cell route, which I think is a okay, great. I wish I could do that, but I don't need to do that yet. Um, I'm doing the go the gym route, be positive route, and and if you look at what Judy's saying, she's saying be positive and everything too. But here's the other thing: I'm not against all of that. I'm against people using that first. But they don't work on their character and who they are and their morals, who they are, who they are first. Work here and here first, and then go do stem cells, uh, diet, um, working out, all the other stuff, pills, whatever. Whatever you want to do. But like I said, it's up to you. It's fine to be to your puzzle. Not my puzzle, your puzzle. I found the ones of mine. I'm finding more, more and more of mine. I just received my, um, my test results from my neurologist appointment. Neuro, neuro, neuro appointment. I'm not gonna try to say it. And uh, I am 
beyond healthy. I don't. I, next to MS, and, and, and my eyes been, but like the my eyes being all messed up in my speech and the the talk and dysphagia, whatever you call it. Um, but like my doctor said, right? There's gonna be a certain amount of damage that's done that's gonna hurt you. That is gonna roll over. You can't. It, it, nah, you can't. It's not going to just everything's gonna be perfect like it was. You're going to deal with damage. And that's what I'm telling you. Let's be realistic, people. I work out. I go. I do a thing. But I'm still going to deal with the damage that's been done. Now, see, remember, I did the damage to myself. Because I didn't help my body try to fight back MS. I was smoking. I was eating wrong. I was not working out. I was getting fat. I didn't care. Let's see right now. The best thing we can do is remember who our character is. And if it's not what you want it to be to work out to do the right thing, find it. Work on it. Mold it. Mold the character. Mold it. Do it. I hope that uh, my videos are helping you guys. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube. Um, please buy my books. Well, for your sake. Um, please do your homework. Please understand that your character and who you are to be more. Don't just stop and think that's it. It's not it. You're alive. You can do more every day. Do it. All right, guys. Mad love. Uh, mad love. Um, take care, guys.